Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Yorane Aldana versus Norma Dumont. Yorane Aldana, 15-7, 3-2 in the last five fights. Minus 130 favorite, 36 years old, 5-9 with a 68 and a half inch reach. Fighting Norma Dumont, 11-2, 4-1 in the last five fights. The one loss is against Macy Chasson by split decision. Not a great decision there. Plus 110 uh, for Norma Dumont, 33 years old. 5'7 with a 67 inch reach, 1.5 inch reach advantage for Yorane Aldana with a 2 inch height advantage as well for Adana, Aldana. So, this one's interesting as we know. You, you, you know, let's you look at this one average fight times 14.38 for Aldana, 14.50 for Dumont. This is a fight that's probably going to a decision. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Strikes landed per minute. 5.24 to 3.11, 40% accuracy to 49% for Norma Dumont, absorbed 6.33 to 1.89. This one right here is a little misconstrued, misconstrued construed because of the Carol Rosa fight. That was a wild fight, but defense, striking defense is 57 to 66% for Dumont. Takedowns at 0.16 to 1.91. Accuracy is 50 to 68 for Norman Dumont. Take on defense is 76 to 72 percent for Aldana at 76 percent. She's what? This is the difference for me personally. You look at Norman Dumont. She's eight and five in the UFC. Only lost five decisions. Has four finishes in her eight wins. 50-50. You know, 11 finishes out of her 15 wins. She has been TKO'd twice. I don't think that, yeah, that obviously hasn't happened in the UFC because she's only lost my decision. So she's fought better competition. I believe both girls have fought Macy Chasson. That's the last loss for Norma Dumont. And Aldana was able to finish her with an upkeep to deliver in round number three. The weird one with that one is I believe she was getting taken down quite a bit in that matchup. Let's see. Carol Rosa, 204 to 145. Significant strikes. That is wild. Um, Aldana had one knockdown against Santos, one knockdown against Caitlin, v Caitlin Vieira. Da -da -da. Leslie Smith had a knockdown. So Amanda Nunes had six takedowns. Okay. Holly Holm had five. Um, Pat Rocco Pennington had one takedown. Both girls had a takedown in this fight, as we see right here. Macy Chasson had three takedowns. Two submission attempts for Aldana, also a knockdown, which was the finish kick. Um, bu 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 bu. She also went three of eight for takedowns, 33%. Three and a half minutes of control time. 72 of 140, pretty accurate there, but 51 of 85 for Aldana. That's the name, that's the thing with Aldana. A lot, a lot of value. 85 total strikes from just okay, right there. Pretty accurate, not crazy, but pretty accurate. 145, 145 of 308 for that one. You look at the Yana Santos fight, uh, 37 of 66. Not crazy output there. Uh, uh, 92 of 210. How they all really turned the clock back on that one. Should have retired in that fight because she looks like crap nowadays. Absolute dog water. Um, Caitlin Vieira, which is a pretty big step up at that point, 26 of 71. 20 of 76 was able to knock her out which was wild at the time just exchanging so can Norma Dumont get uh, this fight to the ground if you look at it um, let's see she had six takedowns against Jermaine Naranami uh, three against Chelsea Chandler one against Kara Rosso who she did beat Two against Danielle Wolf, who's bad. Macy Chasson actually had six, which is wild. Uh, one against Aspen Ladd, one against Lisa Felicia Spencer, and two against Ashley Evans Smith, and also had one against Megan Anderson. Did get knocked down in that fight, but I actually thought it was a pretty bad stoppage, to be honest, but whatever, I guess. So, what is that? That's averaging. Oh, boy. Every fight, she's got a takedown. Every one she's been in, she's gotten at least one takedown. Interesting. <sighs> that one's tough. 
That was tough. That was tough. I think Aldana, as this fight goes, is going to have a lot of trouble stopping the takedowns in this one. I, I, God, it's so tough because... So, obviously, Nunes, she struggled. Shasan, she struggled. Was able to finish her. Um, let's look at Norma Dumont. That's what I wanted to look look at. So, she's... 5-7. Jermaine Aranim, he's pretty tall, if I remember correctly. Um, ba, 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 let's see. She's 5-9, so she's two inches taller. Didn't give her a ton of problems. Her loss against Macy Chasson, which was a split. Let's see. Macy Chasson was 6 of 12 for takedown attempts. A lot of control time at 734. 131 of 94, a lot of value. I thought that fight was... I thought I had Norma Dumont in that matchup. Maybe I'm mis misremembering, but I'm, I thought I did. 71% to the head for Dumont. I don't think she's going to be striking a ton against Aldana. I like Norma Dumont. I think she's able to get these, these takedowns. I guarantee she gets at least one. Aldana doesn't have crazy power. She has good volume, but not crazy power. If Norma starts struggling with the takedowns, not being able to get them, the fight could be very ugly on the feet. I like Dumont by a weird three-round fight, especially the back half of the fight. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know you're picking. Peace.